end, we take it off if we're doing ing, hoping. So we don't write this. We don't write that. Yeah, aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. So we take that off, take it off for making. Spe uh, uh, that's right. But many, and you know what? Many we don't. That is something you just learn. You just learn it after a little while, uh, hoping. And then some, like get and set and jet, if you're, if you're jetting, if you're, um, let me see, uh, you would add an extra T. When it's three letters and it ends with a T, we add an extra T. Steps two T's at end. So very strange. But you don't hear it. Yeah, so two. So then it would go from one to two. This is set. This is set. I'll set it on the table. I'm setting it on the table. An extra T. There you go. So, so when you speak, it doesn't matter. You don't need to know it. It's when you are reading or you are writing it. It might not make as much sense. But for conversation, for conversation, you don't hear the extra T. You don't hear that the E is gone. It's something that we see. So that is, uh, so helping, exercising, those are all, those are all uh, uh, we, things that we do. Some I did not add. I did not add. Um, we, we don't often say, I am loving it. We, we would say, uh, we will say, I will. I will love it. I will love it. You don't say, I am loving it. Uh, I'll love it. I, I will know later. I will know later. I will know. We don't say, I am knowing later. I am, I am giving you that later. I am telling you later. I'm calling you later, but I'm not knowing you later. I'm not loving you later. You're not loving it later. I, I'll love it. I'll know it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. And the same with like. We don't say, I'm liking that later. We don't say it. I don't know why. We say, I am playing, or I will play it later, I, or I can, but we say, I, I'll like, I, I, we, we, I will like that. I will like that. I will like that. There you go. There you go. And the rest, and instead of uh, saying, I'm saying that to you, we can say saying, we can say saying. Now there's something, so this is all seeing. All oh, right, yeah. I'll will I'll see. I will see. I will see. But I don't we don't usually say I am seeing. We don't usually say that. You're right. I'll see. We'll see about that. I'll see. He will see. She will see. We'll see. We will see. So we don't usually do that either. Most we add ing. Many many we use ing. I'm exercising. Yeah. I'm jumping. I'm running. I'm eating. I'm eating. So here's another good one. For eat, I'm eating right now. I am eating. I am eating. But we would never say I'm eating in the future. First because you're do that's one thing we wouldn't. That's one thing we would not do. So um, but many of them I'm helping tonight. Uh, or you could say tonight I'm eating with my friends. Yes, you could. Depends how you say that. Now, what about if you say in the past? is different. What if you did that all what if you did all these yesterday? What if you did all of these yesterday? It will look different. It will look different. It will look different. I will show you that and then we'll we'll practice a little bit. So so and this just makes it easier to be in conversation. Telling, calling. So, so, if we, if it happened in the past, exercise, we say worked. We add ed. I worked hard yesterday. So we wouldn't say yesterday I work hard. 
that's right now, or I, we wouldn't say that. We'd say, yesterday I worked, and it sounds like I'm saying, like, it sounds like I'm saying this, worked, doesn't it? But I'm not, I, it sounds like it, it's E-D, E-D. I worked there. I worked there last year. I asked him about it yesterday. Asked. I needed, I needed it then. I needed it then. I looked, I looked up and I saw you. I looked up and there you were. I looked up, looked up. I, I jetted, but look here, we actually, uh, we actually would say I jetted uh, to, to jet would be to take a plane. I jetted. Um, let me see. A few will do, a few are different, and I will explain them in a minute. But mostly, we add ED for in the past. I helped. I helped build that. I helped. I exercised. Now, we only have to add a D, because the E is already there. I exercised this morning. Did you exercise this morning? She, you would say, I exercised this morning. I exercised. Exer morning. There you go. I exercised. Yeah. I you got. And if you are, if you played, or your your child played, uh, played. this played. played. So Chaka played this morning. Not uh, not play this morning. She played. I liked. I liked the movie that I saw yesterday. I liked the movie. I liked it. I liked it. I wouldn't say yesterday I saw a movie, I like it, because that's, that's today. You would say, I liked. I liked the movie. I liked the movie I saw. I jumped, I jumped to, I jumped out of the way. I jumped out of the way. I jumped. This is different, and this is different. This is different. This is, this is different. This is different. Ah, uh, wanted. I wanted to go there. I really wanted. So we wouldn't say, I, when I was in, um, I was in Canada, I, last year, I really want to come to Thailand. I would say, in Canada last year, I really wanted to come to Canada. Is it uh, in the past I felt that way? I loved it. I loved my last visit. I loved it when I was here before. And and so those those are all verbs we would say uh, we add ed and we would say we would say this could be yesterday. So we we could say so let's we so we could say I worked yesterday. I asked yesterday. I needed. I would. I would say I needed that or needed. I needed it. I needed that yesterday. I looked at it yesterday. I jetted to uh, Thailand yesterday. I helped my friend yesterday. I exercised yesterday or this morning or last in the last hour. I played the violin. I played the piano. I played uh, some music on my computer. I liked that apple pie. I jumped in the shower. We say, I don't know why, because you don't jump in the shower. In Canada, we say, I jumped into the shower, to have a shower. Um, we would say, I wanted, I wanted to play yesterday. I loved, I loved, I loved yesterday. Mr. Singh, I want to give you the proverb of the day. The pen is mightier than the sword. So thank you. There you go. I can see you're on your way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See you, see you uh, next Thursday. There is yeah. no class on Monday. Good. We'll see you next Thursday. You have, have a, a long week. Thank you, yes, and you as well. And you as well. You as well. Yeah. Take nice care. Hand. You <laughs> yeah. Always good to shake a hand. Yeah. Yeah. Shake a hand. Take care.
You take care. We say in Canada, take care, meaning be well. Take care. You are the same. Oh, thank you. Thank you, take care. Yeah. Be careful. Be careful, yes. Yeah. Take. Now, you know, interestingly, take care. Do you know what? Take care. Yeah, take care. And Ta same, I want to know, say, be careful. Be careful. They can mean the same or a little different. So, be careful. So, you know what? Yes, it means the same. If you are, if you are walking downstairs and they're very steep, and you say take care, you mean be careful, right? Right? If you're walking past cars going very fast, but if you are leaving and you say take care, have a good holiday, you just mean goodbye and be well. You mean this? It can mean be, be well, just be well. Be say, well. Say, say, say yeah. It can mean be careful or be well, depending on how you say it, when you say it. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I understand that. Yeah. Because I say over town. Yeah. Yeah. For yes. driving car. For driving. We can say about the yes. Be careful. Yes. Be careful. Oh yes. Very much so in a car, on a bike, or a scooter. You can take care. Oh, you can take. You take care. Yeah. You take care. If uh, that means be, I would know you meant be careful. If I was uh, seeing you next week and you said take care, it means a little bit be careful, but it means oh be well and have fun. Be well and have fun until we meet again, until we see each the same, other again. The same take yeah, care. the same take care can mean little.